Hello, this is Trent Smith with the planning briefing for uh, Sunday, October 24th. We'll start off with a satellite image here. We have a very strong uh, upper level low that's kind of just sitting right off the coast in the Pacific Northwest. This is what will be driving the, uh, all the activity over the Northern Rockies for the next uh, several days. Uh, one big thing is, is a good fetch of moisture making its way across Northern California, Oregon, Idaho, and right into uh, uh, Western Montana. So that atmospheric river will be bringing impressive precipitation totals uh, throughout uh, the first part of the week, maybe even into the latter part. Um, I think tonight, and then again, uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday will probably be the best times for that. Uh, we are gonna start seeing some decent accumulating snow in the higher terrain uh, that could impact uh, uh, mountain passes. And then midweek through the end of the week, we are looking at some stronger uh, westerly winds across the region. So as for the precipitation, uh, fairly high confidence in the precipitation totals across the area, especially across Northwest Montana, uh, kind of up into the Glacier National Park area with valleys in those regions, potentially getting up to an inch of uh, rain. Uh, the rest of the area will probably, the rest of the valleys will probably see a quarter to a half an inch. Um, time frame with Southwest Montana Valley is probably get, seeing a little bit less than that. Um, but again, confidence is kind of uncertain in exactly uh, the valleys of Western Montana uh, to figure out exactly how much precipitation. It all depends on how that precip moves into the area, but pretty high confidence um, with uh, these high amounts uh, across North Central Idaho and uh, West Glacier again, with some of the mountains getting upwards to 2.5 inches of uh, liquid uh, precipitation, but majority of that will probably fall in snow for those higher trains. As for the snow aspect, uh, moderate confidence that we will be seeing some accumulating snow on Lolo and Lost Trail and Marias Passes. Um, this will probably be the first accumulating snow that we've seen actually on the roadways themselves in the past uh, several weeks. The best time frame for that snow accumulation is going to be uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning um, as that second surge of moisture makes its way in there. A little bit lower confidence on exactly how far uh, the snow levels will drop. Um, we could actually see them a little bit lower than 5,000 feet under really intense precipitation, maybe even down to 4,000 feet. Um, so, but really not anticipating any kind of impact uh, in the main valleys. Uh, Phillipsburg, Georgetown Lake, Anaconda could see some accumulations, but still think that the main impact is going to be at Marias Pass, Lolo Pass, and Lost Trail. As for wind, uh, we are looking at some really strong westerly winds starting to make their way into the region Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday appears to have the highest potential for wind gusts in excess of 30 miles per hour, probably up to 40 miles per hour. Uh, that's going to be widespread uh, throughout the northern Rockies. Uh, there will be some uh, sheltered areas, but for the most part, most areas should see wind gusts of 30 to 45. Uh, there is indications that from Deer Lodge to Butte could uh, see some higher gusts uh, with uh, that being up to about 55 miles per hour. Uh, but again, low confidence in that setup, but definitely keep an eye out for that. And then those strong winds appear to last uh, uh, through the end of the week. Again, Thursday and Friday not appearing to be as strong as what we're going to uh, receive on Wednesday, but gust potential up to about 35 miles per hour uh, will be possible both Thursday and Friday um, across the region. As for the weather threat matrix, uh, again, we're looking at a lot of low to maybe moderate impacts, and again, that moderate impact is going to be on that Wednesday time frame. Um, uh, for the most part, North Central Idaho, it's going to be the kind of the first accumulating snow along the Montana-Idaho border that we've seen in quite a while. And then accompanied with a lot of wind across West Central Montana. And like I said, uh, we're going to stay fairly active. Thursday appears to be a break as moisture kind of moves more into Northwest Montana. Um, but the winds should still linger. And then another surge could potentially impact all the Northern Rockies on Friday. So uh, just a really active weather pattern uh, for us for the next five to seven days. As for the eight to 10 day outlook, it appears that a weak ridge of high pressure will try to build over uh, 
the Pacific Northwest. Uh, that'll cause us to be a little bit drier than normal for this time of year, but temperatures still should still remain uh, rather seasonal uh, at this time. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call here at the Missoula Weather Office. If not, our next briefing will be uh, on Thursday, October 28th. Thank you.